So it sounds like Tesla's Wii Robot event was faked. So if you didn't see at the event, Elon had these Optimus bots come out, which was really cool. Well, so then the next day, all these videos start to populate from people at the event. And you hear that not only were these Optimus bots doing cool things like making the drinks and handing out gift baskets, but they were also communicating with people. I got one for you. Ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. We we I'm pretty sure we all I'd assume what happened is that it's people. It looks like you're uh, fishing right now. That's right. You got it. Nice work. Hope you're enjoying the event, man. And I heard this and I thought, if these things are actually communicating with people the way that it sounds, and this is actually like AI or something, then this is way more advanced voice recognition and voice conversations with an AI than anything we've seen up to this point. Everybody thought this, including, well, everybody. Marquez Brownlee playing charades with the Tesla Optimus robot last night. This is either the single greatest robotics and LLM demo the world has ever seen, or it's mostly remote operated by a human. No in between. Which seems like, yeah, 100%. It's either unbelievable, and I don't know why people aren't talking about it, or it was faked. And I dug into this because I posted a video a couple days ago about it and everybody in the comments was like, you're stupid. This was obviously fake. Obvi and I was like, I guess, but how do you know? So I was like, okay, I want to find these videos. So I did a deep dive and here's what I found. For one, there seems to be no at all, no official remarks from Tesla or Elon as to whether they were actually autonomous or to what degree they were autonomous. And if assuming it does seem like they were controlled by humans, to what extent was it just their voices? Were they being remote controlled? Were there like really skinny people inside of these suits? I don't know. They haven't said the reason people are saying like these things were clearly remote controlled or teleoperated. Is for a couple of reasons. Three primary reasons that I found so far. The first is just observation. You're hearing these things conversate. Is conversate a word? How do you know I'm not AI controlled? Clearly, because I said conversate. But they were communicating with people at such a human level that it just, like Marquez Brownlee said, this thing is either the most advanced LLM anywhere or they're fake. There's just people talking behind the scenes which seemed to be the case. The second thing, and the thing most people are pointing to, is this guy, Robert Scoble. He was at the event and he posted a couple of posts on X that people are like, see, see? His first post, this is the main one. Optimus, make me a drink, please. And then he said, this is not wholly AI. A human is remote assisting. And then somebody said, so it's mostly not AI? And he said, mostly. Wouldn't that have been a good disclaimer? For them to publicly state, they keep forgetting to tell us humans are involved, which that's that's the whole thing here that I want to discuss a little bit because that seems insane to me. Then he said they did publicly state that I put up the interview. Oh, what? I got to see that. So here's the video where Robert apparently asked whether these things were being controlled autonomously or not. Well, let's see what's going on here. Hey, Optimus, how much of you is AI? I can't disclose just how much. That's something you'll have to find out later. But some or none? <laughs> I would say it might be some. I'm not going to confirm, but it might be some. Wait, so is that it? Is that all? I thought like he talked to a Tesla insider who was like giving him some information. So that's it. This is what everybody keeps pointing to is this guy's post on X. This doesn't tell you anything to me. He just states that they're not wholly AI and that a human is remote controlling them or at least remote assisting them. When people are like, well, how do you know that? He's like, well, I asked Optimus and he just said, I'm not going to confirm. So that got me nowhere. So I kept diving deeper. And this is where it's this is like the closest thing that I found on the Internet available to giving us, you know, like an answer as to whether these things were human controlled or not. So The Verge posted this article. The Optimus robots at Tesla Cyber Cab event were humans in disguise. Tesla made sure its Optimus bots were a big part of its extravagant in-person cyber cab reveal last week. The article goes on to say, if Optimus really was a fully autonomous machine that could immediately react to verbal and visual cues while talking one-on-one -on -one to humans being in a dimly lit crowd, that would be mind-blowing. 
100%. That would be mind blowing. And my mind was blown because I was like, when I watched this event, I wasn't thinking, oh, these are probably fake. Only because to me, if that was the case, and it seems like it was, that would just be so sketchy because Elon is insane. The things he's created are mind blowing. He just landed a rocket on this. What do you call the thing? Like a landing pad (laughs) that like grabbed hold of this rocket midair. The things that Elon has done are insane. And the technical technological advances we've seen in AI over the last year, year and a half have been insane. OpenAI's new advanced voice mode is nutty. It's insane that you can have such a natural conversation with AI that sounds so real. And then on top of that, you have Notebook LM and the podcasts are so real. The two hosts on it are so real and sound so natural and human that it's insane. So, you know, to see this event where here's Elon with his Optimus bots and they're coming out and there's this a lot of press, a lot of excitement around this event. Like, what's this thing going to be? At least there was for me. And then to end, like the last thing at this event are the Optimus bots walking out. And then you start to hear these videos or see these videos of these Optimus bots talking. I don't think that it's obvious when you watch the videos that these were people, you know, because we live in a world where insane things happen. So anyways, this article, like everything else I've read, points to Robert Scoble's post, which we just looked at, where he doesn't really show anything or prove anything. But the article says, attendee Robert Scoble posted that he'd learned humans were remote assisting the robots, later clarifying that an engineer had told him the robots used AI to walk. Morgan Stanley analyst Adam Jonas wrote that the robots relied on teleops, teleops, human intervention, in a note the outlet reports. There are obvious tales to back up those claims, like the fact that the robots all have different voices or that the responses were immediate. Again, I don't agree that that's obvious. I mean, do you know about how long the pauses or the gaps are between two people having a conversation? Natural conversations, the gaps between speakers can vary. On average, pauses between turns are typically around 200 milliseconds, which culture... And then how long are your responses in general? My responses usually come in pretty quick. Typically... I mean, maybe it's not quite as fast as a human, but my gosh, it's pretty dang fast. And there's a lot of different voices with ChatGPT's advanced voice mode and 11 Labs. There's endless voices. You can clone voices instantly. So again, I, like, I don't agree that there's obvious tells to back up those claims. None of this is obvious to me. It's deceptive. Like to me, very deceptive. But I did find one video so far, one video where an Optimus bot reveals that he's being assisted by a human. Doesn't go into details as to what extent, just that it's being assisted by a human. So let me play that video. So are you being remote controlled? How's your night going, sir? Good. I said, are you being remote controlled? Today, I'm yes. assisted by a human. I'm not yet fully autonomous. A couple things that are interesting to me about that. One is that he apparently doesn't want to answer the question, it seems. So assuming there is a human behind the curtain. The guy asks, are you being remote controlled? And the robot's like, and is like, how's your night going, sir? So are you being remote controlled? How's your night going, sir? Like... It seems like if there is somebody there, obviously, it seems it seems pretty obvious that that's what is happening. The handler or whoever is voicing this doesn't give a direct answer, just says that tonight I'm being assisted by humans. Every video I saw of these Optimus bots, there were handlers around, it seemed like from Tesla, I would assume, who were, you know, keeping people at a distance, who were helping out if the bots needed help. And I think overall, we're just there to make sure, you know, nobody got hurt was the biggest thing. Is that the assistance that Optimus is speaking about? The thing to me that stands out is that there's still no clear answer. If people seem to be convinced like there's no way this is obviously teleoperated and people are stating that as fact they were teleoperated from what I've found so far though and I've done a pretty deep dive into various news articles 
and videos of the event and videos of people talking about the event. I have not seen anything that clearly states, at least from Tesla officially, to what extent these were being human assisted. It it seems like, I mean, the, obviously, I do agree. The, the ability that these robots were being portrayed to have in having natural conversation and movements and the ability to speak in real time, it seems obvious. Like, of course, they're not doing that. Of course, that's not AI. It's, it's somebody behind a curtain. But the fact that from what I've seen so far, Tesla hasn't made any statement. And to me, set up the event to really promote the autonomous nature of these robots that Tesla is building from their car that has no driving capabilities, no human driving capabilities at all, no steering wheel, no pedals, fully autonomous. And then the bus, same thing, fully autonomous. This thing drives itself. You just get in, you relax, you have a good time. So it kind of builds up this event. The event's called We Robot. And so it just seemed like the event was pointing to this direction of like, look how autonomous these things are. And then these Optimus bots come out. And my assumption was like, man, these things are going to be like, obviously fully autonomous. Like they're not going to, it just to me, the idea that these were just being faked and just a small portion of them were actually autonomous or maybe not at all. I mean, if these things were being voiced by a human, teleoperated in terms of like being controlled by a human somewhere else, how is this any different than an animatronic at Disneyland? I mean, is that all this was? It's like an anim- a really advanced animatronic at Disneyland that Tesla and Elon was using to sort of subtly hint that oh, these are fully autonomous. Look how far this technology has gone. And I know it's not surprising. It's like, of course, that's what he's doing. He's trying to, you know, raise support and capital or whatever he's trying to do with Tesla. But that just seems so sketchy and underhanded and deceptive for sure. Very, very deceptive. It just seems that if I mean, I don't know if anyone's going to care if people are going to like try to get to the bottom of this. I would hope in like an upcoming Elon interview, people ask him straight out, you know, how autonomous were these Optimus bots? Because the world right now is freaked out, I, like most people that I talk with, and myself included, pretty freaked out by how fast this technology is moving toward becoming very human-like. The conversations we have with it, and people are legitimately scared. Like, how is this going to affect my job? How is this going to affect the future? How are we going to teach our kids? All of these concerns and questions are you know, real concerns that people have. And especially when you put AI into a robot. Like, I remember when ChatGPT first came out, that was one of the things that people were saying was like, wait, wait till they put this thing in a robot. And they were kind of like laughing at it. It was kind of like, yeah, down the road. But this is happening in front of our eyes and people are are concerned. And I think you have to take that pretty seriously. And from what Elon has said in interviews, he is taking it very seriously. Uh, the, The potential hurdles and potential negatives that could come about from this technology are very serious and real. So to then come out with an event with your Optimus bots at an event that's pushing the autonomous nature of what Tesla's creating, and then to make it seem like these things are really advanced, but it, for it to be like, oh no, it was just fake. They were basically Tiki Room birds or or the Lincoln animatronic at Disneyland. It was pretty much what they were. It was just for show. It was just entertaining. Wasn't it funny? Wasn't that silly? Wasn't it? It wasn't it cool to like talk to these things? Of course, it wasn't real. That's that's kind of anyways, super deceptive. And to me, doesn't look good for Elon. Like I'm a big Elon Musk fan. I think he's absolutely obviously brilliant and doing some of the most innovative work that we've seen in my lifetime. And so to have something like this, that's just so deceptive, it just doesn't look very good. It kind of makes me feel like what else is actually real that you're talking about? Like that. I don't know for Tesla not to come out and be just very transparent about like, Hey, I I know that in Tesla's own live stream, they didn't have audio. It was just music. You were just seeing the Optimus bots move and do things, which I assume that part was actual technology, like built into the the bots. But then it it calls into question that like, well, were, were they really though? Were there, were there puppets? Were they basically just puppets? I have no idea. Like, obviously, I mean, Tesla's not stupid. They've ran events like this before. Elon owns X. He knows how social media works. People were there with their phones filming this whole thing. He knew these videos were going to get out with these bots talking. I just think at one, at some point, somebody's going to ask Elon, 
what happened here or Tesla and they'll come out with some statement. And I just think if what seems to be the case, if these were human assisted, to what extent the voice, the interactions they were having with people, basically everything we saw that was so like jaw dropping and insane was all fake. It's just that's not a good look to put it lightly and uh it really calls into question a lot of things and and builds a lot of distrust into uh, what what he's saying anyways it's kind of crazy to me kind of crazy that that these things would be faked but I, i still have no idea no idea there's nothing clear nothing clean nothing obvious to me about this because this could be some sort of advancement in ai because the advancements like how many times this year have i just been like dumbfounded by the progress that we've seen in ai like truly dumbfounded like how is this real look at the text to video that we're seeing there's video clips now that are absolutely jaw-dropping they're so realistic ai voices now are so realistic indistinguishable from humans you know so it's not out of the realm of possibilities that these things were autonomous. It doesn't seem like it now, but mainly because of this video where the bot said I'm assisted by a human right now, but doesn't say to what extent. So I have no idea. Let me know in the comments what you think. I know you think like you're stupid. Most people that seems to be the case. They're just like, you're stupid. These are obviously controlled by a human. They're obviously teleoperated show me how i'd be like like legitimately i'd love to know if you have a video or you have an article you have insight or something that shows you know from tesla like this is what actually happened and here's how human controlled they were i'd love to see it right now i haven't found anything that is definitive it's just videos that seem incredible too good to be true but are they i don't know hey real quick oh one thing one last thing man man i uh i would would help me beat the youtube game and uh get this video out to people subscribe to the channel and, you know do all the things that youtube wants you to do to get this video out there man i'd appreciate it subscribe comment thumbs up it would be a huge help i genuinely would appreciate it because it's a tough world out there in the youtube in the youtube world anyways thanks for watching